Hello, um, this is a video about um, using the data forms in Excel so you can make the uh, a little drop down box. Now, what we have here is we have this is for uh, Nigeria, we have a whole lot of data sheets, and I have to keep going back and forth to the data sheets. Now, I've, you can, if you want to view two sheets, you can go to view a new window and then view and arrange all and put it in vertical and, and then do this. You know, when you do this, you've got to be really careful. Close the one. I don't know why it's on the left here, but notice we changed the um, freeze panes for some reason. I don't know. So that's one way to do it. But let's do it kind of a fancier way. So you get the developer tab just in case you haven't seen how to get the developer tab. You go to Options, and then you go to Customize Ribbon, and you find the developer. Okay? And the big deal about the developer tab, really, you can do almost everything about it except for one thing. You get these little forms. Now, I'm going to, you can use these fancier forms, but for now, uh, we'll use this one. And, uh, you know, Hmm, I want to put one here. Okay. And whenever we do a form like this, my friend Tatiana in Russia told me, you know what you should do is go back and forth to a sheet and then shift control oops, shift control down. Why? Shift, shift, shift. Okay. And then um, we can uh, uh, we make a little code. Perhaps I'll even put it right in this one. Of course, we should do this now. I suppose I don't really have to do this one, but it in in this case it will help because it might be the case that I want to use this somewhere else. So now, right now, we'll have a list of all the sheets. Now, let's say I just want to go to a sheet. Now, what we'll do, which is nice, is we can attach a map to this. So once we press this, so if we select one of these sheets, we can hit this, and then it'll just take us to the sheet. Okay? And then we can make another macro like shift control Z or something like that to take us back. So um, for now let's use the index, which the index is a is really the brother of these uh, uh, of the drop down box because we always have things in an order, and it always gives us a code number. So you'll always use this. Now, uh, what we can do is right-click and assign a macro to this, make a new macro, and we'll just take the sheets, and then we'll, uh, let's define this name. Let's name this range and call it the go to sheet. Okay, and just simply uh, put uh, range. And sometimes this doesn't work. Watch me, and I'm going to start swearing. I think this probably won't work actually, but let's try. So if we want to go to this one, we click on this one, and give me a debug. Here's why. I, tell me why some of this stuff doesn't work. Uh, so we put some kind of uh, temp name. And we have to uh, put a temp name in there. This is about the only time it doesn't work. As usual, I got okay. For some reason, I don't know why, but it did work. So we go to this, and it did work. Why? Oh shit! Uh, uh, why it uh, messed up? Of course, when I did it with you, 
I don't know. Now, ju let's just double check that I didn't say something wrong. If you, uh, let's try again. If I would put range, maybe I did something wrong. Go to sheet just to re-emphasize that this does not work. If I do this one, it doesn't work. If I make it like this, it works. Okay, now what we really should do is let's take us back to the, uh, let's take us back to sheet, How about three sheep three? So what we can do here is just make a simple map. Go back. Then let's make it shift control Z has that. And we just uh let's stop the map and just program it. Right? <sighs> what did I call it? Go back. And we simply put sheets one and select. Now, if uh, so, let's press Shift Control Z. We go back. But you know, I, I really wanted to go to sheet three, didn't I? I just told you that. So if we assign macro and edit. We can uh, put sheet 3. Now if you wanted to get, I suppose you could put, uh, uh, let's do it kind of fancy. If you put application dot status bar, status bar down here, you can put uh, press shift Control, control, red to go back. Okay, and then what we can do is we want we probably want to turn this off here. So we just press up, up here, we just put equal false. Okay, so let's see how this works. So let's say I want to go to a sheet, and it, down here it says press Shift Control Z to go back, and it just takes us uh, back. Okay, enough of that. Uh, I'll call this drop down box and macro or something like that.